Hi guys, Robo46 here and welcome yourselves to round 6 of Robo's Racing League on Murdo GP15. This week we are racing at Magello. Let's have a look and see what the qualifying done. So, one racer is on pole, followed by Enjard in the second. Uh, my Sweaty Gibbons is third. I, Dylan, fourth. R, Morland, fifth. I'm in sixth. CA Specialized, seventh. ML007 Heskey, eighth. And Brandy Scales in ninth. We actually had a, a full lobby this week, so a full 12 riders, and uh, the rest of them will check out. Here we go, Surfing Kid 10th, Colonel Carlos in 11th, and SDB Biker in 12th. So, I decided to use the Ducati this time, I thought I'd give it a second chance, since it's the first time I used it online. I was drunk, and it um, didn't go so well, so, off the line. Not a too bad start. Um, run down to the first corner wasn't too bad. Uh, people obviously slipstream in, a few people coming past. Into the first corner, one person went really wide into the gravel. Um, just cr trying to get my powder dry at the moment. Um, Colonel Carlos, the only other person on the Ducati. So, down to ninth at the moment, which isn't too great. I lost three places off the start. People still all over the place. Went a bit too deep there, and Colonel Carlos comes past. And then, shit happens. Went into this corner, like, no different than what I usually do. And the front just went. It was a really weird crash. Um... I wasn't actually on the front brake when the front went. I know it left a massive skid mark, but um, yeah, it's a really weird one. It's the normal line I usually take. Um, I didn't do anything different to what I usually do. And yeah, the front went, so um, yeah, down to 11th now, which isn't good, which meant that I had a shitload of work to do. And it would be interesting to see if I could actually get any places back. Because obviously I don't want to finish at 11th. Right. The only good thing about crashing on the first lap is that you got a load of time uh, to try and make up some places. So that's uh, that's what I had to do. Point 0.7 off of SDB Biker. We've already made up one place. S uh, CA Specialized crashed, so we got past him, so now we're 10th, right on the tail of SDB Biker. Got a pretty good exit out of the last corner. And that was the end of the first lap. As we start the second one into the first corner, pretty late on the brakes and managed to get underneath SDB Biker as he goes really wide. And now I'm up to ninth, and I now have Colonel Carlos in front of me on the other Ducati. Only two Ducatis in the race. I definitely wanted to be top Ducati, if anything. They really need to sort out the curbs, whoever makes the next MotoGP game, because there's, you shouldn't be going to, losing so much time going on the curbs. I mean, your rear wheel shouldn't be coming up in the air. That's just stupid. So we're almost on the back of... Colonel Carlos. In fact, we pretty much are on the back of him. Now I just had to find a, the right time to pounce. My time was coming. He goes a little bit wide, so I shoved up the inside, but he's on the inside for the left, so I took a nice wide sweeping line and get a better exit. Up to eight. To this hairpin where it's so easy to lose the front. Gone really wide there. A couple of people in front went wide as well. Cut back and uh, ready for the chicane. Point eight now from seventh place. Who is my sweaty Gibbons? It's a group of three there, which meant that if I could get in front of all three of them. I'd be in fifth place and a very happy boy. So, eighth place. 
my sweaty gibbons is moving up so surfing kid 18 is next on my list of people to get past he went wide he went onto the grass and the gravel and he went down so we are up to seven and those two are just pulling away slightly you can just see the other two just in front of them as well so not a million miles away from uh, the podium anyway but uh you may have just seen that um my sweater Gibbons did cock up a corner just a minute ago. And coming around this corner, I close up quite dramatically. And we are pretty much with him. He's gone a bit wide. So now I have to try and dispose of him. Which would then put me into sixth place. I was just trying to, well, put together a half decent lap. 0.3. The stupid thing is, I had a bit of a blob moment on uh, when I was doing my uh, time attack and getting my setup. I got a really decent setup. Um, and I thought, yeah, that would do. And uh, yeah, I forgot to save it, so um, just before this race happened, uh, I had a really mad rush trying to quickly get a uh, quick setup that was okay as I go past my sweaty gibbons, but um, I did end up with one that I wasn't 100% happy with. Um, my sweaty gibbons has just crashed, so safe and sick at the moment. So I was really annoyed with myself for not saving my setup. So I was really comfortable on it. But um, yeah, it uh, it sucks. Shit happens. And unfortunately, I made a mistake. Right. End of lap six. Coming to the end of it. My sweaty Gibbons has caught back up to me. And he's got past. He's a lot quicker than me through that chicane. And now I have to see if I could stay with him and maybe attack him still. I wasn't going to give up sixth place without a fight. Into the first corner late on the brakes. Managed to get up the inside of him. So back up to sixth place. And I was ready for a fight to the end. And so was my sweaty Gibbons. back past but he wheelies a bit so I get back past him and then a little bit too deep there nothing too major he's still right on our tails it's 5.4 up to fifth place now so uh, fifth place is unfortunately out of the question it's whether I can get sick a little bit too wide there, my sweaty Gibbons comes past, I try to square up the corner, he goes over the kerb, loses a bit of momentum, and I close up a bit. Through the fascia came where I know he's quicker than me. But I don't get too bad to drive out of it, and he pulls a massive wheelie. goes a little bit wide. I, I've got to get a good exit out of here. Try and get in his slipstream. He goes on the kerb again so he lose a little bit of drive from that. And then it's whether I could outbreak him again into the first corner. It's only point two. So I thought, fuck it, let's do it. Up the inside again. And this battle was going to continue for a few more laps. 
the inside but too deep and then he went wide just squared the corner off pretty much leveled peg in and he pulled away a little bit through these sets of corners he went on the curb and I pulled back a little bit it's all to and fro in went in a little bit too deep there I got a better exit at the second corner shoved up the inside but I did go a little bit wide which meant that he could come back so just try to shove up the uh, inside again but that outside line is still pretty quick and level pegging again got to square the corner off Goes over the curb again, loses a bit of drive. Going a little bit wide, but still managed to bring it back to the apex. Now we're coming up to the chicane again. And he's starting to pull away, I went on the curb, so I lost a bit of drive that time. Still on the back of him, but. I didn't get the best of exits at the final corner. He did go right over the kerb there. Not as close as it was the lap before. But anyway, let's take a look at the front. The battle between one racer and N-Jerk. This was a battle that pretty much went on throughout the whole race. These two, miles ahead of everyone else. You can see on the map how how far ahead they are than everyone. And jerk goes for the inside. But one racer manages to hold on to first place. Just like the bat I was having a bit further back. This one was uh, always going to be a close one. The positions chopping and changing all the time. And these two keeping each other very honest. Interesting variety of lines as well. Come round the final corner to end lap eight. One racer goes a little bit wide, but manages to bring it back to a very late apex. On to start lap nine. Into the first corner, and it tries out break one racer, but doesn't quite manage to do it. Racer just holding on. STB bike having a crash a bit further back. Racer, a little bit of an advantage there, point 0.2 of a second. So it's not major, and then soon quickly closes back up. One racer goes a little bit too deep. One racer closes up again. Tries to take the lead. Does momentarily. One racer soon fights back and retakes that lead. And Jack tries again but goes a little bit wide so one racer comes through. Into the final sec there. Through the chicane. Point three is all that splits them. They come around the final corner for the penultimate time. And Jack gets a good drive at the last corner. But so does one racer. So he gets in the slipstream. Hard on the brakes. Still nothing in between them. This is of course the last lap as well. And after we see this battle we'll go back and see how my battle ends up. The 
These two still really close. Locked in battle. But one racer just got a little bit of a gap at the moment. It's just starting to edge away slightly. Almost four tenths. So you go up the hill. Little mistake from Enjack as he goes on the grass and over the curb. One racer just edging away a little bit more. You may have just seen that my sweaty Gibbons has crashed, and we'll check that out in a minute. One racer over half a second lead now. 0.7 of a second lead. Going to the final corner for the last time. One racer does go wide but brings it back for a late apex again. Well, kind of does. And that's those two done and dusted. One racer wins, Enjek second. Let's go back and see what happens on my last lap. I am 1.3 seconds behind my sweaty Gibbons at this point. But in the last lap, I didn't want to give up at all. So I was just pressing on, going a bit wide in places because I was trying too hard. 1.6 now, so I lost 3 tenths in the first sector. As we start to go downhill, my sweaty Gibbons has an accident. Pass I go, and now it's time to put the hammer down and to see if I can stay in sixth place. We're 6.9 seconds behind fifth now. Just the final sector to go. Can I hold off my sweaty Gibbons for sixth place? I didn't want to settle for anything less than sixth at this point. Into the chicane. Bit of a bad exit on the curb. And you'll see the arrow appear. He is right there. I go a bit wide into the final corner. And he comes past. He's up the inside. Try to get a better drive out. Which I do. But slipstream wasn't my friend. Pass comes my sweaty Gibbons. So I try to fend him off. I managed to get sixth place just by the skin of my teeth because my sweaty Gibbons did have a penalty. So I did get sixth place by about a tenth of a second. So overall, one racer takes victory, followed by Enjerk in second. Idyllin comes home in third. Fourth is R Morlan 99. Fifth is M O 7 Heskey. I came home in sixth. My sweaty Gibbons was 7th, 8th was CA Specialized, 9th was Colonel Carlos, 10th was Surfing Kid 18, 11th was Brandy Scales and 12th was SDB Biker. So now that we've seen the results of the race, let's have a little look see to see what that's done to the championship. As you can see, one race has moved into the lead of the championship with 90 points and I, Dylan, has now moved down to second with 89, just one point behind one racer. Third now is our Moorland 99 with 77 points. F fourth is CA Specialized with 73. One point behind him is Enjerk in fifth with 72. I'm in sixth with 69 points and what a very fine number that is too. Seventh is Pistol with 66 points after not being able to compete in this race. Uh, eighth is M O 7 Heskey with 56 points. Ninth is SDB Biker with 38 points. Surfing Kid 18 is in 10th with 28. Eleventh is Magic Milk with 22. Twelfth is Brandy Scales with 18 points. 
and now we'll have a look at the second page and uh, Dobby Dazzler is in 13th with 11 points My Sweaty Gibbons is 14th with 9 points as is GSXR Matt with 9 points in 15th I'm not going to bother doing the uh, equal place points anymore just because it's, it takes a lot of time just uh, changing all the numbers around so um, we won't be doing equal positions we'll obviously get equal points but yeah uh, 16th is Lukey with 8 points 17th Colonel Carlos with 7 18th Toynho with 7 19th Dubman of 1989 with 7 and 20th is Samurai 41 so that's the championship at the moment it's hotting up at the top and uh, with Pistol not being able to compete in this race he'll be back next time you can be sure of it and he will be at the sharp end there will not be a race next week because I'm actually away all next week um, so there won't be any videos from me I'm afraid guys um, but uh, when I come back I will be sure to put some up I got a few things ready to put up when I come back so uh, yeah that's all I've got left to say guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave this video a like subscribe to my channel for more content and I shall see you guys in the next race and the next race of course will be Friday the 18th of September. Cheers guys, see you!